Hello, my young friends. I'm so glad to be able to spend some time with you today. I hope you're staying happy and healthy and safe. Okay, I have a question for you. It's a very important question. How many of you like fruit? I love fruit. I don't think there is a fruit that I don't like. So I have some fruit here. I have a banana. I have a pear. An orange. An apple. Oh, there goes the apple. And two colors of grapes. Now, if you were sitting here with me in my kitchen at my table and you looked at this fruit, you would realize it's not real, it's pretend. So that means we can't eat it. But I wanna to talk to you about some fruits that are real. And these are called the fruits of the spirit. Okay, if you look in your Bibles, ask your parents to help you, in the book of Galatians. Now that's another fun word. Say it with me, Galatians. It's in the New Testament, and we're going to look at chapter five, verses 22 and 23, and this tells us about the fruits of the Spirit. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Those are a lot of fruits, aren't they? Well, let me tell you, we're gonna talk about three of those fruits today. We're gonna to start with the first one, and it is love. When we see a heart, we think of love, don't we? Love is when you really like somebody a lot, or you like something a lot but most of the time it's when we like someone. And if we love someone, we want to help that person, we want to be nice to that person, and we want to be a good friend to that person. That's one way we can love. There are lots of ways we can show love. We can pray for people, we can write notes to people or draw pictures, or even just smile at somebody. That's a great way to show love. The next fruit of the Spirit is one of my favorites, joy. Joy means happiness. That's why we have a smiley face here. Joy means happiness. It means you can bring happiness to people. You can bring joy to people just by being kind and thoughtful and helpful. It's a good way to bring joy to people. Now the third fruit of the Spirit is peace. Now this peace sign was very popular when I was a teenager. So when I see this, I think of peace. Peace means calm and quiet and that all things are right in the world. So these three fruits of the Spirit are really important when we think about our relationship with Jesus. He loves us, he brings us joy, and he brings us peace. If we accept Jesus and we try to be really good people and good Christians, then we will have love, joy, and peace. And if we have those, then we can share those gifts with other people. Okay, so when you see a piece of fruit like an apple or an orange, think about the fruits of the Spirit that we read about in the Bible because they are important too. They are God's special fruits. Okay, boys and girls, let's bow our heads and say a prayer. Say it with me. Dear God, we thank you for the fruit we can eat. And we thank you for the fruits of the Spirit. We thank you for love, joy, and peace. We thank you for giving those to us. And we ask that you help us share those with others. We love you, amen. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you have a really good week. And I hope you stay safe. 
Listen to your parents. Do your homework and eat your vegetables. See you soon.